Get ready to discover answers in the Bible with Bayless Conley. Father Nash had pastored a small church in the country for six or seven years and eventually ended up becoming a prayer partner and traveling with Finney. And when Finney would be going, when he would hear from God about going to a particular region, Father Nash would go in ahead of him, sometimes two weeks, sometimes three weeks in advance. And he would get a small room and try and find other people of like precious faith and he would get them to pray. One time when Finney came into a town to hold a revival, there was a woman that had a boarding house that sought him out and said, Mr. Finney, there's a man here that says he knows you. He's called Father Nash. There's him and another person. And they haven't been out of their room for three days. I went to check on them. They're both laying on the floor and they're just groaning. Finney said, it's fine. They just got the spirit of prayer on them. It's just the spirit of travail. Leave them alone. And you know, there's no pictures in existence of Father Nash. Though we have photographs of Finney and pictures of Finney. Father Nash wrote no books. The sermons he preached during the short years he pastored are lost to history. They're forgotten. His tombstone is in a neglected cemetery along a dirt road behind a live stock auction barn. But you know what? When Father Nash died, within about three months, Finney stopped holding revivals. When the prayer stopped, the revival stopped. And shortly thereafter, Finney took a position at Oberlin College and became a professor there. How significant was Father Nash? Incredible. And those of you that pray, don't stop. We need your prayers. You know, even what's going on tonight, you know, teaching the word is good, but it's got to be mixed with prayer. Otherwise, it will never penetrate people's hearts. We need the presence of the Holy Spirit. We need the power of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word, but power comes through prayer. 